Hey folks, my name is Ed Trevers. My pronouns are he, him, and his. I'm an Anglican priest serving in the beautiful parish of St. Margaret of Scotland that sits on the ancestral and on the unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. Gwei. I told you that I was at a conference a couple of weeks ago. I spent three days at a conference called Vital Church Maritimes. It was a lot of fun, learned a lot. The, uh, the primate of the Anglican Church of Canada was there. Our diocesan bishop was there. Lots of friends, lots of, uh, lots of colleagues were there. Uh, clergy and lay alike. Lots of people who are interested in offering the gospel in, in new, creative, effective, loving ways. Well, I traveled up there with, uh, with one of my new congregants here at St. Margaret of Scotland. Her name's Janet. And uh, Janet and I, well, we drove back and forth. I had some stuff going on with family, and, and she was kind enough to, to drive there and back with me. And so we, we spent about six hours together just in the van as we drove up and back for this conference. Janet's retired. And over those six hours, she told me, I, I was very fortunate, very fortunate to, to learn about her life and about her history and about, about what she did for a living uh, when she was working. She was, she was a cook. She was the head of kitchens at universities. And in the summer times, in the summer times, she would work for youth camps, keeping them fed, you know, providing healthy, nutritious, and tasty meals. She worked at two such camps. And when we were talking about them and I asked her about the differences between the two, she said, well, you know, both were, they were, they were different. They were very different from each other. But both were interesting. And I loved how she put that. You know, she, she had different experiences at, at both camps. One camp she spoke about with, with great adoration. The other camp she spoke about as, as something she enjoyed doing. But the affection wasn't necessarily there. She, she talked about bumping into, bumping into the kids that she used to get to know when she was at these camps, or more importantly, the kids that would get to know her. Many, many, many years later in their lives, she would bump into them on the street. And they would say, hey, aren't you Janet from the camp? And she'd say, yes. Both were very interesting. She didn't judge. She took something from each opportunity, from each experience. She allowed herself to, to learn from each opportunity opportunity and experience. She allowed herself to, to be influenced and, and to grow from each opportunity and experience. She found them both interesting. She wouldn't judge. She didn't judge either as good or bad, as wonderful or horrible, one better than the other. Both were interesting. This is the attitude that I hope I have about my life and about my experiences and about my opportunities and about my, my travels and, 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 and about my moments that they were interesting. Because if those moments and if those experiences and if those opportunities, I see them all as interesting, then my curiosity stays alive. You know, I, I, I don't put a label on them as good or bad as beautiful or ugly, successful or failure. I'm able to see them as things that are, that are wide open. I'm able to continuously maintain a curiosity for them. I'm able to continuously ask questions about them. We often say, don't judge. And we say, don't judge because, oh, I don't know, maybe it's mean. The truth is, judgment requires us to, to put a label on something. It requires us to at least tell ourselves what something is or how we should perceive it. But we don't have to have any kind of final perception of anything. 
if we always find something interesting, then we will be curious about it. And if we're curious about it, then we will ask questions about it. And if we ask questions about it, we will learn from it. We'll get answers. We may not like the answers. The answers may not make us feel any better about that moment or about that experience, but we will learn. We will grow. We will become more because of it. Shutting down our need for judgment allows us to prosper in some really amazing ways, allows us to grow in some really incredible ways. I hope. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face be made to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord's countenance rain down upon you. May you always know the peace of being in the Lord's presence. And I pray I pray we'll be like Janet about all things. Scary, not scary. Comfortable, uncomfortable. And we'll find things to be interesting. We will remain curious. We will ask questions. And we'll become richer as those answers are offered to us. Amen. Namultus.